hello 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 everyone so please do like comment share subscribe i'm trying to build up the subscriber limit to a thousand by summer i'm gonna try and also get as many unit one and two videos out i'm not sure if i should start unit four next it's probably the easiest one it's very short unit it's a coursework unit so please do like and subscribe and you'll see more stuff coming out as well all right thank you so we're going to be looking at table lookup this is probably the last thing we're going to do in validation so you will need to have some data in the tables to do this a bare minimum of two records with two different values so for example we could have patient data and we could have nhs as one patient and private as the other because we want a drop down list so because we want a drop down list we already have to have some data there next um so you get the values from another column in another table i'll show the entire process here i am in my database so let me go back to my powerpoint quickly just to show something um, now there might be an error if you've already created your relationships so to delete your relationships i'm going to show that as well because mine will have the error i'm going to have to go to database tools go to relationships and delete the line for the relationship right so when i go back to my database now what i need to do i need to open the ticket table for me for example i'm going to go to design view and from design view uh customer id is the thing i wanted i need to change this data type to a lookup wizard right from the drop down list go lookup wizard i'm going to get this error here uh, it's because i have the relationship set already so i'm just going to go in and delete the relationships you only need to delete the relationship from the table you're trying to get the information from in my case i believe that's the customer table i'm just going to go in quickly database tools go to relationships it doesn't have all of them uh show tables let's just add everything i've messed this up big time so customer yep so i'm going to delete these and i know i need to get rid of a uh, customer ticket table to customer so i'm going to just click on the line here and i can press delete on my keyboard and i believe you can right click and delete relationship as well that's i'm going i'm going to say yes to that okay i need to close the ticket table first just choose yes for now that's fine delete this again yes i know that's gone so save that i'm going to go back to my ticket table now right click design view on ticket table go back to customer id go to the data type and i'm going to choose on the drop down list look up wizard shouldn't get the error anymore now typically we would type the values we want for our a value lookup but because this is a table lookup you have to choose the first option which says i want the lookup field to get the values from another table or query click next here the table or query you want to get the values from is a customer table so you this is where the original information is and you want to get it from there but into the ticket table so simply choose customer table here or whichever table you have i'm going to click next i am going to want customer id uh first name surname these are things that would generally be unique i mean customer id is going to be obviously 100 percent unique because that's a primary key first name and forename not so much my father and i have exactly the same first name and surname so having customer id there as well might be beneficial because you might be able to see he might be 1001 i might be 1002 i'm going to click next uh the the order you want it to show in so essentially you're going to have i'd say maybe customer id makes more sense first you don't actually have to choose that because it's already primary keys already linked but i like to shoot um to sh choose it to show everything happening i'm going to go to first name or forename then i'm going to go to surname so this is the order the order that everything will show up in i'm going to click next i'm actually going to hide this one actually you know what i'll show it just so we understand that uh, for example if this was my father right and we had exactly the same name for the first two the only thing that would be unique between the both of us would be um the what's this customer id i'm going to leave it in you don't need to for your table because you probably don't have data that repeats um, to that degree right so you can leave it ticked and it will get rid of it i'm going to leave it unticked i'm going to select next this next page shows me the data that is going to pull in from the other table so custom id first name surname forename and surname sorry i'm going to go to next and from here the only thing you really need to do is select enable data integrity what this is it's simply going to create 
or recreate the relationships that we either did not do earlier or the ones that we deleted at the start of this video. That's it. Again, this is going to recreate or create the relationships necessary for the data to be pulled from one table into another one. After that, simply select finish. It's going to ask if you want to save this. You have to choose yes to continue. I'm going to choose yes. Now I've closed every single thing and I now need to test this data. So remember, I'm pulling from the customer table into the ticket table. So I'm going to open the ticket table. And let's just say I'm on a normal day, I'm filling in all my details. Now, the whole point, the whole purpose behind this is that if we just had a customer ID which said 1001, for example, that means nothing to anyone whatsoever because 1001 would indicate that there are at least a thousand people in your database and you would have to remember all the customer IDs for the 1,000 people that came before this person and you'd have to be able to make some association between the customer ID, the person's name, what ticket they want to buy. That's just going to be way too much. This way, we as a normal human being can look at the information presented to us and choose something relatively sensible that's relatively unique. Again, my father and I have exactly the same name, so I would be um, obviously RG, for example, and he would be RG Senior. So when I click on this drop-down menu now, this is information that is much more unique and customized for a normal human to understand. First, I have 24 Bob the Builder, right? 27 uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, 28 was that Tom and Jerry. So this is how we, this is why we would do. When we fill this information, we only get, again, please note, we only get the unique identifier, which is in this case 24. Sorry, I've got bad eyes. So we only get the primary key, but we know that that primary key, 24, refers to Bob the Builder. We know that primary key 27 or customer ID 27 is linked or refers to SpongeBob SquarePants. So we don't have to guess when we choose 28. What does 28 mean again? Um, which person is it that bought 20? Um, was customer ID 28? We know for a fact it is linked to this. 